Hi everybody, I'm Corey O'Brien, the head of consulting and SI partners here at Databricks. And I am so excited today to be joined by Ali Godsey, the CEO of Databricks, and Karthik Narain, the lead of the cloud practice at Accenture. Ali, you've talked a lot about the lake house and open data platforms. Tell me a little bit about what that means. Yeah, that's a great question. Really what it means is that customers, as they're making their journey into the cloud, they want to be able to break down these silos and be able to both look at the data that they have, asking questions about the past, using business intelligence. What was my revenue last month? But they also want to ask about the future, forecast. What's my revenue going to be next month? And for that, they need a new architecture, a new way of envisioning things in the cloud. And Lakehouse is a way to bring together these two things, the AI and the BI, all on one copy of your data on the data link. Garthic, what trends are you seeing in enterprises moving to the cloud today and leveraging data and AI? Corey, first and foremost, uh, we are uh, in an era of compressed transformation where organizations are going to move from 20% in the cloud today to about 80% uh, in the cloud. What do I mean by that? It means organizations are going to you know, disaggregate their value chain and re-aggregate it so that they could offer certain services leveraging the power of cloud from a business perspective. One fundamental element that they have to take care of is data. And data is in a difficult stage today. It is trapped under uh, siloed legacy systems. Uh, it is operating with multiple systems creating duplication of data. And when they want to take this to the cloud, they really need to know what is the future state architecture. Because like Ali talks about, when they take this to cloud, they need to be able to answer questions both about the past as well as about the future. And how are you seeing the cloud as a catalyst for change for Accenture's customers? It's a great question, Corey. Cloud is being looked at as a catalyst for the digital transformation and as a foundation for almost all our clients. And this multitude of data is a complexity that we are seeing customers trying to solve through the Lakehouse pattern, which is something that you guys drive the market with. And this Lakehouse pattern is making it simple for organizations to be able to put multitudes of data, both from a velocity, variety, as well as volume, all into one source so that they could manage this multiple sources in a much better way. I think the, the really interesting thing is that they already have all this data. That's a really positive thing, that the company's been collecting the data, and today that's stored in these data lakes. So massive amounts of data. Now, as you said, sometimes it's siloed, sometimes it's hard to use. So what's exciting about the Lakehouse paradigm is that they'll be able to make use of that data where it is, in the data lake. So the Lakehouse approach is a lake-first approach to make them successful with the data that they've already collected. Absolutely, absolutely. Accenture and Databricks share a common vision to help businesses accelerate their digital transformation. Tell me why that's so important today. Karthik, let's start with you. Yeah, this is the phase where organizations are either catching up with their industry competitors or they are trying to get into newer industries. For that, they need a foundation and they've learned from the digital natives that the digital natives have done this by creating a better cloud foundation and by leveraging and tapping into the data insights that they are able to get. And that's the exciting part of this journey. And we've seen some common successes you know, between our customers. And the patterns of problems are very common. They want to be multi-cloud and they want to operate their data from a multi-cloud environment. They want a programmatic way, structured way through which they get better ML insights from their business. So these are things that could be solved. But the challenge in the industry today is that there's a lot of reinvention that's happening for every program, every project, and every customer. And this partnership actually is helping create a rinse and repeat pattern for all of these uh, solutions that we are actually creating for our customers who are in this early stage of uh, digital transformation. Absolutely. Ali, what are your thoughts? Well, I'm really excited because I do think, as you said, the digital natives did it in one way, and now the rest of the enterprises want to do that as well. The Lakehouse platform, where you have all your data in the data lake, and then you make use of it so you can do BI, AI, real-time use cases on it, it's great, right? But how do we help them actually build a solution? They need help, they need services, they need accelerators, they need solutions, and that's where I think Accenture really comes in. Absolutely, and it's 
one, a technological big lift to get to a, a data foundation or a data backbone that organizations could use. But on top of that, it's going to be very specific to industries and functions within that industry. And um, what we pride in is leveraging our you know, years or decades of industry capability and the technological um, prowess that you guys bring and creating, stitching this together through accelerators and solutions and COEs that we are putting together. Sounds like a match made in innovation heaven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm particularly excited about the verticalization. So Accenture really knows these different industries and helping them with industry solutions or accelerators that are sort of verticalized on top of the Lakehouse platform, I think that's going to be really, really important. Absolutely. Ali, can you give us any examples of customers that are taking advantage of this amazing innovation with the Lakehouse? I mean, there's so many examples, so it's hard to pick from one. But I'm really excited about the work that uh, McDonald's is doing with us. McDonald's have 40,000 stores worldwide. They're in 120 markets. And what they did is, when they moved to the cloud, they re-architected it to really be cloud native. And in that approach, they have built a lake house where they can actually do customer 360. They can optimize the drive-through performance. But also, what they've done is, they use BI tools to understand what the revenue was for the different SKUs and locations in the past. But they can now also leverage AI and machine learning so that they can actually predict what the revenue will be in the future using a lake house. So I'm very excited about the work they're doing. Ali, Karthik, I think next we're going to talk about why this partnership is so exciting for all of our customers and the future for them. Ali, let's start with you. Well, I'm really excited because we've built the foundation with the lake house in the cloud so they can do AI, BI on these data lakes where they have all this data. But our customers need help. They need to architect for the future, and they need to have help from someone who's seen it again and again and again before. And that's where Accenture comes in. They have verticalized industry-specific solutions and it can give them accelerators and then help them actually build it the way they need to so that they can be disruptive and competitive for the future. So we really need that help. So I'm excited about doing that in partnership with Accenture. Absolutely. Karthik, talk to me a little bit about why you're excited about this partnership. Yeah, we were anticipating a serial approach that our clients were going to take, where they first migrate and then they accelerate in the cloud and then they think about growth and innovation. Growth and innovation is all about leveraging the power of insights from the data and to run their business operations in a most optimized way possible. So this is the place where they need a lot of help. And the Lake House paradigm um, genuinely helps because it could solve for both the past and the future. I think we will now take this to the next level to double down on this innovation center that we are creating with reusable artifact solutions that we would do that would help create this foundational backbone. But we'll also take this to a select few industries to begin with to create industry solutions so that these industries can innovate faster. And for that, we need a platform like Databricks uh, because all our clients are uh, multi-cloud, hybrid cloud. So we need a centralized platform through which we are able to you know, operate this data, engineer this data, and get this um, innovation insights for them so that they could operate their business in a much better way than they are doing today. Tell me a little bit about what you're excited about for these partnerships and how you think that the growth pattern will continue. I'm really delighted in how we're going to, together with Accenture, help these customers innovate towards the future and build their future and become disruptive. You know, we're most of our marquee customers now are working together with us, jointly with Accenture and us. So I look forward to, in the industries, giving them the solutions, the accelerators that they need to be successful. Karthik? I feel the same way. We had just, you know, scratching the surface on the data platform, you know, evolution and revolution that's going to happen in the market. And for the solutions that you guys have and the leadership and uh, point of view that you've come up with the lake house pattern, I see an opportunity for Databricks to be there in almost all clients um, in some way, shape, or form, either as the single enterprise data platform or there are going to be data platforms for specific purposes and specific objectives. So there's a huge opportunity um, for Databricks to be in almost all our clients. And we are doubling down with a lot more investment, creating a dedicated um, set of teams that will just focus on it and increase their proficiency to the highest level in this pattern with uh, 
with your help uh, in training and access to materials that your engineering teams have access to. So I am uh, very, very positive about how we are going to double down on this. That was awesome, you guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciated your time today. It's a fantastic session. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really look forward to partnering, Karthik. Same here. This is just the beginning of the journey. Likewise.